Hello everyone, this is Samyukta talking to you about neonatal health. Nearly 46% of all maternal deaths and 40% of neonatal deaths happen during labor or the first 24 hours after birth. Shocking data, right? Yup. This accounts for 35% premature death, 33% of the neonatal infections, 20% of birth asphyxia and 9% of congenital malformations. Yet, we cannot brush aside the fact that death during and after delivery is largely preventable by enabling access to skilled birth attendants and emergency obstetric care. In the post-newborn period, survival rates also sharply increase with early and exclusive breastfeeding and immunizations against vaccinal preventable diseases. The first 28 days of a newborn's life is a critical window of opportunity for prevention and management of maternal and newborn complications which can otherwise prove fatal. About one-third of newborn deaths occur on the day of birth and close to three quarters occur within the first week of life. The vast majority of newborn deaths take place in low and middle income countries. Poverty, poor nutrition, insufficient access to clean water and sanitation are all harmful factors. Health promotion, disease prevention services and treatment of common childhood illness are essential if the child is to thrive as well as survive. The WHO has developed core indicators to monitor the quality of maternal and newborn health services. This involves the receiving of four elements of the essential care. The four elements are immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact, thorough drying of the baby, delayed cord clamping and early initiation of breastfeeding during the golden hour. Globally, UNICEF is focused on hashtag every child alive, a signature neonatal campaign that supports and accelerates UNICEF India's efforts to eliminate preventable neonatal deaths by the year 2030 with focus on the girl child. It aims at equipping midwives and healthcare workers with training and tools. It also aims at empowering adults, girls and women and families to demand and receive quality care. No parent should experience the heartbreak of watching their child suffer or die. By making sure every mother and baby has access to affordable quality care, we can save newborn lives. We can end preventable newborn and child deaths in our lifetime. But we need more than a single drug or intervention. We need governments, healthcare workers, communities and families to come together to provide affordable quality healthcare for every mother and baby, starting with the most vulnerable one. Thank you.